Welcome back to Sawtooth Tactical. Today I am very excited because we've got more parts in for the M4E1 300 blackout build and I've got even more exciting parts on the way which I'm going to tell you guys all about. But what we got today, we got of course Radian Raptor charging handle because those are the only charging handles that I like to use. I think Radian makes the best charging handle on the market. What else we got? The M4E1 lower parts kit minus the fire control group. And the reason for that is because I just ordered a Geisley trigger. I told you guys I was going to make this one more of a mid-tier, higher-end build. And so I had to go with Geisley for the trigger. Before we get started, I just want to thank everyone that's subscribed to the channel. You guys are what keep me going. Thank you. So this would be episode three of this build series. And if you know what I'm talking about, I'm building a short 300 blackout suppressed AR. The ultimate home defense gun is what I'm going to call it. And uh, so let me show you what we got today up close. And then we're going to talk about what's coming because it's very exciting. So in episode one, we got this lower receiver, which, uh, yeah, I'm very happy with it. It's got the uh, Benjamin Franklin live free or die snake on it. Episode two, I got the upper receiver from Aero Precision directly. And this is a blem model, which uh, I haven't been able to find a blemish on it. <laughs> so I'm very happy with it. Now that we're in episode three, this is a Radian Raptor charging handle. Also a blem model. So this was about... 70 bucks versus the 120 that they normally are and again can't find a blemish on it i'm starting to think that blem just means you know an opportunity to give things to you at sale prices so i also ordered the m4e1 lower parts kit and this is the moe sl which is the more vertical grip and uh, i ordered it without the fire control group not because I'm going to use this trigger that I just put in it last time, but because I'm going to use a Geisley trigger, which is on order already. Geisley was having a sale. I ordered their SSP, which is their single stage precision trigger. And it was much cheaper than normal. 168 bucks instead of the standard 240 so let's take a look at this lower parts kit. You get the Mo SL grip. Like I said, it's a little bit more vertical and a little bit more slim than their standard Mo grip, MOE. Has the bolt in here. In here, you've got your safety selector, you know, some of these other parts. And then in here, you got your bolt catch, bolt release, your takedown pins, mag release, those kinds of things. So, with the magic of video editing, we'll come back in a second and this will all be put together. And through the magic of video editing, here we are. So, as you can see, mag release works. Safety selector, bolt catch, bolt release. The takedown pins. And that one's a little tight. Both a little tight. How to use the bullet technique to get those out. Here we go. This trigger, like I said, is not the trigger that's going to stay in this. But this charging handle is. Radiant Raptor. These are my favorite charging handles. And the MOE SL grip. So... Need to get the buffer assembly here soon, but yeah, I'm very happy so far. And let me tell you guys about what is coming for this build because I am very excited about it. So I love building ARs at this point. Every little bit of the process is exciting to me. So I'm happy to have the lower parts done. Got my radian charging handle in here. This trigger will be coming out very soon because I ordered a Geisley SSP, the single stage precision trigger. 
It'll be my first Geisley trigger. As you guys know, I am a bit of a trigger snob. I love a good trigger, but I've never had a Geisley. And from what I hear, that's the best trigger you can get. So I'm really excited about that. Besides that, yesterday I went down to my local gun store, used the silencer shop kiosk, and started the process for the suppressor for this build. So I'm going to get a whip machine and tool, Dirty 30. It is a short K style suppressor, which is perfect because I want to keep this short. It's going to have an eight inch barrel and then the suppressor on it should make it hearing safe, especially with subsonic ammo. Hopefully the wait time isn't too long with the ATF, with the whole e-forms process and all that. I'll see because this is my first suppressor as well. But the build is coming along even more so than what it looks like right now. I'll do another video as soon as that Geisley trigger gets here. Pretty soon we'll have a buffer assembly. We'll get a barrel, a handguard, optic. I'm um, I really I'm thinking about an EOTech, the uh, the EXPS3 specifically for 300 blackout. Otherwise, the Hollow Sun. I believe it's the HS512C. Um, it's kind of like a poor man's EOTech. Not that I want to do anything pour in this build i really want to make this kind of an upper tier mid tier at least build um but it has the same you know 68 moa or 65 moa circle with the two moa dot i believe inside it and what i like about holosun is the shake awake feature and um and the battery life compared to something like an eotech so we'll see i'm still working on that decision eotech you know it's closer to 500 bucks for the holosun is probably closer to 300 so, um, but you know, at this point, you know, I'm going with the Geisley, I'm getting a suppressor. I'm willing to spend the money on this build, even if it makes means that it takes a little extra time. So I hope you guys are enjoying this so far, maybe learning something. I'm sorry that I can't show the process of putting parts together on camera. That's against YouTube rules. And I don't want to get a strike on my way to a thousand subscribers and, uh, you know, <laughs> building the channel so anyway um please like comment um tell me about your builds tell me what you've learned about 300 blackout what do i need as far as buffer weights and things like that go i still need to learn some of this stuff um and tell me uh, yeah what you think so far about this share this with people that you think might like it and um yeah please please subscribe i'm really trying to build the channel from Sawtooth Tactical, stay stripped or get clapped.